And, you know, these are the facts about Hitler. Hitler's grandmother was 42 years old, working in a uh, home in Austria as a maid when she suddenly becomes pregnant. And when Hitler was rising uh, uh, in the 20s and in the 30s, there was a lot of rumors rising in the political arena. There was a lot of rumors about his potential Jewish background because his father was born a Schickelgruber. He wasn't born Hitler. His father later on took the adopted name Hitler when he was in his 40s. And it's, it's interesting to think that had his father not done it, if Hitler could have actually risen to power with Heil Schickergruber, it just doesn't, doesn't, it just doesn't sound right. But there was a lot of rumors going around back then of Hitler having Jewish background. Hans Frank, his lawyer, claimed in the Nuremberg trials after the war that Hitler, with all these rumors flying around, ordered him uh, in late 20s, early 30s to go down to Austria and inspect this. And Hans Frank claimed that he found documents that the grand, uh, grandmother had been working in a Jewish home in Graz, Frankenreiter, Frankenberger. We've never been able to find this family, by the way. Uh, but according to his testimony, that he, the grandmother was working in this home when she suddenly becomes pregnant. And then he found correspondence between the Jewish family and Hitler's grandmother. Uh, and for 13 years, uh, Hitler was given child support. Interesting law in the books back then in, in Austria was that if you had a child out of wedlock and they knew who you were, you had to support the kid for 13 years. Interesting coincidence. Also, when the Nuremberg uh, uh, laws came out, Hitler had it ordered that no uh, Aryan woman under the age of 45 could work in a Jewish home for fear that she would be impregnated. Coincidence? You know? Also, he had supposedly a lot of uh, documents about his family destroyed uh, and also even a cemetery destroyed uh, in Dollersheim. So Hitler was definitely scared about something. He had many reasons to be uh, scared about uh, several things in his family, especially back in that generation. You know, his father was born out of wedlock. His father was an alcoholic. His father beat his mother and beat the kids, even beat the dog. Uh, there was a history of incest in the family. And there was a history of uh, insanity. Surprise, surprise. Uh, and uh, there, these type of things, he had a lot of demons he was trying to get rid of. And Redlick really focuses on his book about the possibility of Jewish ancestry. Genealogist Karl Friedrich von Frank offered to certify the racial purity of Hitler's ancestry. In this secret hiding place in the castle library, his files on the Hitler family's history lay undetected for decades. Over 1,200 pages document the dictator's mysterious family tree. Soon, every schoolchild in Hitler's Germany had to learn how to prove their Aryan heritage. But the Führer himself had problems with it. Hitler's own family in no way measured up to the Aryan ideal that he placed before Germany. And there are very few members of his family, when you look through there, who would have measured up to that. And the truth is, most of them would have been considered a blemish or an embarrassment. Mystery even surrounds the paternity of Hitler's own father. He was born illegitimate under the name of Alois Schickelgruber. Later, he had his father's name registered as Georg Hitler. 20 years after Hitler's death. A dubious proof of identity, but from then on, Alois called himself Hitler. His son Adolf had the family tree published anyway and wrote to the genealogist, as far as I and my sisters can tell, it is correct. His family line. But his opponents were looking more closely now, and they discovered a Salomon in the family tree. The press said, that sounds Jewish. Soon, the papers were speculating about the racial fanatic's own racial heritage. A Vienna newspaper printed pictures of Jewish gravestones inscribed with names like Hitler. Thanks to his uncle, Willy Hitler got a job at the Reich Credit Bank in Berlin. But this Hitler had no taste for regular work. Willy had other plans. In a letter to his uncle, he threatened to take the Hitler family secrets to the British press unless his personal circumstances improved. It was a blatant act of blackmail on Willy's part 
And the most astonishing thing is that it worked. How did Willie manage to put pressure on the most powerful man in Europe? Hitler's expressed concern was that Willie had found proof that there was Jewish blood in the Hitler family veins, which would have been absolutely catastrophic for Hitler. Um, the fact was, Willie's threat allegedly, was the fact that Willie's father, Alois, had committed bigamy. Hitler had Jewish and African roots, DNA tests show. Adolf Hitler is likely to have had Jewish and African roots, DNA tests show. By Heidi Blake, 24th of August 2010, for The Telegraph. Saliva samples taken from 39 relatives of the Nazi leader show he may have had biological links to the subhuman races that he tried to exterminate during the Holocaust. Jean-Paul Mulders, a Belgian journalist, and Marc Vermeeren, a historian, tracked down the Führer's relatives, including an Austrian farmer who was his cousin earlier this year. A chromosome called haplogroup E1B1B1, which showed up in their samples, is rare in Western Europe and is most commonly found in the Berbers of Morocco, Algeria, and Tunisia, as well as among Ashkenazi and Sephardic Jews. One can, from this, postulate that Hitler was related to the people whom he despised. Mr. Mulders wrote in the Belgian magazine, NAC, haplogroup E1B1B1, which accounts for approximately 18-20% to 20 of Ashkenazi and 8.6% to 30% of Sephardic Y chromosomes, appears to be one of the major founding lineages of the Jewish population. NAC, which published the findings, says the DNA was tested under stringent laboratory conditions. This is a surprising result, said Ronnie de Corte, a genetic specialist at the Catholic University of Louvain. The affair is fascinating if one compares it with the conception of the world of the Nazis, in which race and blood was central. Hitler's concerns over his descent was not unjustified. He was apparently not pure or Aryan. It is not the first time that historians have suggested Hitler had Jewish ancestry. His father, Alois, is thought to have been the illegitimate offspring of a maid called Maria Schickelgruber and a 19-year-old Jewish man called Frankenberger. According to The Independent, titled Did Adolf Hitler Marry a Jewish Woman? DNA tests show Eva Braun associated with Ashkenazi Jews. The dead famous DNA film tested hair samples which are said to have come from a hairbrush used by Hitler's secret lover and discovered at his mountain retreat by Adam Sherwin, Friday 4th of April 2014. Eva Braun, Adolf Hitler's long-term lover who married the Nazi leader hours before their joint suicide in his Berlin bunker, may have had Jewish ancestry. Groundbreaking DNA testing has found. DNA analysis of hair samples from a hairbrush claimed to belong to Braun suggests that the fascist dictator responsible for the murder of millions of Jews may have unwittingly married a woman of Semitic descent in one of his final acts as the Third Reich crumbled. The revelation appears in a Channel 4 documentary, Dead Famous DNA, broadcast next week, in which leading scientists attempt to extract DNA from relics and analyze their genome to solve mysteries associated with them. Forensic scientists sequence the hypervariable region of the microchondrial DNA from a sample of hairs extracted from a monogrammed hairbrush found at the end of the Second World War in Braun's apartment at Hitler's Alpine residence, the Burhoff in Bavaria, by an American Army intelligence officer. They found a specific sequence within the microchondrial DNA, a small genome within the microchondria of the cell that has passed down the maternal line from mother to daughter unchanged over the generations belonging to haplogroup N1B1, which is associated with Ashkenazi Jews. A haplogroup is a particular sequence of mitochondrial DNA, which has passed down the maternal line, and according to traditional Jewish law, Judaism is passed down through matrilineal descent. Photography assistant Braun fell madly in love with Hitler at just 17 years old, although he was 23 years her senior. Hitler ordered his private secretary, Martin Bormann, to investigate Braun's family, who sent Eva to a Catholic school to ensure that they were Aryan and that she had no Jewish ancestors. After being assured there were none, the courtship advanced. But Hitler, fearful that the relationship would harm his public image, 
refused to marry Eva, and kept her a state secret, hidden away at his mountaintop residence, the Burhoff. Channel 4 used hair initially recovered in the summer of 1945 by Paul Bear, a U.S. 7th Army captain who was posted to the Burhoff and took personal items, including the hairbrush, from Braun's private apartment. There are photographs of Bear at the Burhoff in 1945, and the hairbrush was seen authenticated by experts. Bear's son sold Braun's hairbrush to a relic dealer who separated the hair and sold it on to hair dealer John Reznikoff. Dead famous DNA presenter Mark Evans bought eight strands of the hair from Reznikoff for $2,000. The hair was then sent to an international team of forensic scientists for analysis. Channel 4 spokesman said, In the 19th century, many Ashkenazi Jews in Germany converted to Catholicism, so Eva Braun is highly unlikely to have known her ancestry, and despite research he instigated in a bronze race, neither would Hitler. Whilst the results will provide a talking point, they are not definitive. To prove that the hair came from Eva Braun's head, Mr. Evans attempted to get a DNA swab from one of Braun's two surviving female descendants, but both refused. 